business owners, we all want to get more leads in our business. But not all leads are good leads. Some people that come to you will simply not be a good fit. Some people will never buy from you. Some people are a good fit, but now is not the right time. And some people are a great fit and you should be spending your time with those people. It's important for us to qualify our leads. And in order to do that, there are a couple of different methods that we can use. So the first is to add a qualifying question to your lead capture form. So lead capture form is normally embedded on your website. And depending on what answer they choose to your qualifying question, you would kick off an appropriate workflow. So if they selected an answer that would suggest that they were a good fit, you would kick off a lead workflow. And if they selected an answer that suggested that they weren't a good fit, you could gently point them in a different direction. This is a really good method if you are really busy and you only want to speak to people who you know are going to be in a position to work with you. Another option is to send a qualification questionnaire. So after sending the questionnaire, you'd have a pause in your workflow to determine whether the client is a good fit. If they are a good fit, you'll kick off the lead workflow. If not, you'll gently move them along. This one is really good if you want to dig a bit deeper. So you need to ask more questions and you want to really review their questionnaire and determine whether they're a good fit. You could also follow up with a PDF or a video. So again, you'll pause your workflow and you'll give your lead a clear call to action. This one is really good because you're putting the, all the information into your customer's hands and letting them decide whether they want to continue. So you're giving them all the information about what to expect to work with you. And if they want to continue, then they have they make the decision to move along and continue with you. And they make the decision whether they are not a good fit. So this one is really putting the decision into the hands of your lead rather than you making the decision yourself. The last option is to start a conversation. So in order to save a bit of time, we would create some email templates. But this, this one is a little bit more hands on because it's quite high touch. So this one, you're asking a question to spark a conversation. And in that conversation, you will determine whether this person is somebody who you want to invest more time in or whether you want to move them along. 